I'm looking out my window right now. You know, sun is shining, birds are chirping, people are fornicating. Not me, but I was thinking, man, today just looks like such a nice day to just take a plus size woman on a date, right? But not any regular, not a picnic, not to get hot wings, because that's probably what they want to do. No, no, no. It's a perfect day outside to take a plus size woman on a hot air balloon date. Now, it's a little sketch, but I think those things can handle the weight. But wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be just like interesting? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Hey, what's up? What's up, big mama? Let me take you out. Let me take you out, baby. You know what I'm saying? Cut. And then and then and she's like, Okay, while she's eating some hot Cheetos, she's like Okay, what you want to do? And then and then you're like, don't worry about it. You'll see when we get there. And then you're driving there, right? And it's one of those places where, like, you can see the hot air balloons in the distance. And she's like, oh, my God. That's some crazy shit. That's some white people shit. I don't play that. And then, then you're about to pull in. And you're like, God damn it. Was this a bad idea? <laughs> and then you pull in. And she's like, oh, hell no, I know you ain't bring me to no hot air balloon date. No, uh no, sir. No, sir. I'm like, listen, man, take what you can get, right? What was the last date you went on that was fun and not eating Cheetos with cream cheese? Huh? Tell me when. Right, that's what I thought. Yeah. Be grateful, okay? Because I'm 150 pounds, okay? And I'm taking you, your, your 314 pound ass on this hot air balloon. I'm putting myself at risk because I want to give you the best time, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hey i was just thinking about that dead ass like here here's my problem here's my problem here's my problem the relationships that i've been in i just it just dates i'm just not the guy and I, I you know it makes sense why a lot of my shit wasn't didn't stick around because I'm not like an exciting person but I didn't realize that until like recent recent maybe like a year ago after I've been out of my relationships or whatever but I was like damn man I see like guys take their girlfriends out on like cool dates and shit and I'm like oh man I was gonna try and not swear on this podcast but whatever (laughs) uh not not the first five minutes like I always complain about but the entire episode (laughs) we'll see we'll see what I can do we'll see what I can do just a little a little juice box challenge how about that but I was seeing guys take their their GFs out on some dank dates, and I'm like, man, dude, I never did any of that. <laughs> hey, bro, I I was like, man, dude, am I that much of a scumbag to where I just don't do fun stuff like that? God, makes sense, you know. But I don't know, man. I don't know what it would take for me to to kind of like branch out. Remember what I was talking about a couple weeks ago when I was saying that there's always people in your family that will go above and beyond for like your birthday and like gifts for Christmas or whatever it is. I don't have that either. And I also have no idea what a cool date is. But I think a hot air balloon date would be sick. Now, the 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 plus size woman chick thing, nah. That's <laughs> we're just not going to Hey, you know, I ain't got nothing against them, right? More cushion. But look, I just, you know, if I'm a, if I'm a if I'm gonna be with a plus size woman, best believe no one's knowing about that shit. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Hey, I'm so mean. I'm so mean. Hey, but it's chill. It's chill. It's chill. I, I, I'm on one right now, bro. I'm drinking sparkling water and no alcohol in this episode. No, I'm done. I'm done. Not you know, just right now. <sighs> yeah, bro. I'm still on this this sparkling water kick, right? This this uh, sparkling water kick happened when I was. Um, doing my sober January because I needed the closest thing to White Claw, right? And the sparkling water list, I mean, dude, it, God, it's just so good, dude. And I, I, I drink this like stuff, st- I caught myself, I drink this stuff more than regular water. And bro, let me tell you, my pee, it's rancid. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just what it is. Hey, hey so everybody say hello to DT. DT, how are you? I see, you know, last week you had one titty out, but then this week you're flashing both titties. So, look, my my last week's episode, I did get flagged on on uh, on YouTube. So, I, you know, I'm chilling. Uh, I appreciate it. You showing the skin, you know, free the nip. But uh, it's going to make me uncomfortable a little bit later. So, um, say hi to the juicers.
All right, she waved. If you're just listening, she, you know. Um, so we're here chilling. We're ready to get turned up. And when I say when I'm ready to get turned up, we got to get turned up together. So let's continue to get turned up together, baby. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, dude. So it's just it's funny like looking back on things like like, you know, relationships and thinking like why the fuck didn't it work out? Oh my god, I just I just I just dropped it. I just dropped the F one. All right. Well this episode's trash. So uh no, it's not trash. It's not. I just messed up big time. I was gonna try and not swear for the entire episode and I already messed up and it's not even five minutes yet. So yeah, it is five minutes. So um yeah, thinking about stuff like that is like, I don't know why I am the way that I am <laughs> when it comes to like dates or like being like thinking outside the box with like cool stuff to do. And I don't know, man, but, but moving forward, you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to put, I will take you on a hot air balloon date slash wine tasting with freaking char- charcuterie boards. You know, and salami and olives. I is that what girls like? I'll put that in my bumble bio and say I'm gonna take you on a date that has all this. Okay, but on the way back, I'm pulling my pants down when I drive, and I'm not just gonna let it sit there by itself. You gotta you gotta do something, right? Because you know whatever. <laughs> but but I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put that in my bio, and I'm gonna see if I get some action. That's just we'll, we'll see. It's a little, we'll do a little. Uh, We'll do a little uh, test to see if that works. You know what? Every week? No, I'm not going to do that. It's too much work. I already got too much work to do. But I was going to say every week I'll put a new bio on my on my Bumble, right? Like offering something cool, you know, like a cool little date idea or whatever. And then see if I get more matches. Because girls like stuff, right? As much as they say they don't like stuff, they like stuff. So we'll see. I don't know. Hey, man. What's up, guys? Guys, if you're a new listener to the podcast, everything that I just said with the fat chicks, um, I'm 100% serious. I don't play that. And if I do play that, no one's going to know about it. I will not talk about it on this podcast. So have I, in the past year, maybe hooked up with a a Hefsky? Well, that's for you to imagine. Can you imagine? Hey, just, just, okay. Just imagine, right? Just picture me. One of the smallest people in the world. <laughs> uh, you know, plowing a fat chick. No, it's not even. No, no, no. I already, I said that wrong already. <laughs> it's not plow. It's not me plowing a fat chick. It's a plat. A fa- <laughs> it's a. Oh, uh, it's a plat chick plowing me, dude. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me correct myself. It's not me plowing a fat chick. It's a fat chick plowing me, dude. I would just get. I would get worked. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, bro. That's just even like weird to think about. Hey, but look, man, I I you know, they they always say don't knock it till you try it. And from the people that I've spoken to, well, people meaning one person, and I cannot say who it is, but I know somebody that used to be a chubby chaser. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. There's really nothing wrong with it. They need love too, right? They do. And and you know what? You hook up with a fat chick, they'll make you breakfast the next day. Uh I don't know that from experience. Let's just say that, but <laughs> I, you can only imagine, right? I mean, come on, they're, you know they're hungry. So, what are they gonna just not make you food too? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh shit! All right, yeah, nah, we're swearing on this episode. Fuck it. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Uh, I, there might be the occasional bathroom breaks during this episode because, dude, listen. All right, I know I said it's going to be a hot boy summer. I know I said that. I say, dude, I, here's the thing, man. I say so many things. <laughs> and how how much of that is true? Well, you know, a decent amount. But a lot of it's cap. Cap, 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 cap. For, 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 for. So, uh, <laughs> I, all right. I know I said I was on a diet and I'm trying to, and I'm trying to, you know, shred up, get, get back to dick skin Joey, right? And here's the thing, man. I, I've been doing pretty good, but I'm not going to lie. 
Saturday, I woke up and I went to Panda Express. That's it. You know, I woke up and I was like, you know what, Joe, you've been doing really well. Now, I'm not, I, I can't ignore the fact that on Friday, right, Friday, I went and I bought a frozen pizza. I did. I, have, I bought a frozen pizza. I bought CPK. It was fucking, it was tasty. It was tasty. Okay. So I bought that. I bought uh, sorry, pizza on Friday and then I had Panda Express on Saturday. And then Saturday afternoon, my parents had their going away party and they had tacos. Oh my God. You ever been to El Griense? All right, well, this wasn't an El Griente guy, but his shit was better. And those tacos give me blast ass. You know what I'm saying? So I got home. Look, bro, I repainted my toilet. I, I repainted half my bathroom with that shit. Oh, my God. But, dude, and then, all right, all right, all right. And then Sunday, I was fine. But today, you know, after work, I had this craving for Popeye's. And, bro... Hey, man, I don't, there's never a fucking emergency in my town the second I start, until the second I start recording, right? Oh, I've been home for three hours. Nah, no sirens outside. Oh, but then I start recording. Hey, guys, there's sirens. There's a fucking fire truck driving. God damn it. What's the guy got to do, man? What's the guy got to do to get some silence around here? If it's not the fucking, if it's not the goddamn fire truck, it's the goddamn dog, right? And if it's not the dog, it's the cats in my house. And if it's not the cats in my house, it used to be my roommate, Jake. So what the hell, right? Can I get sponsored so that I can move into a studio or something? This is bullshit. <laughs> hey, no, I'm kidding. But I'm actually not kidding. That shit actually makes me really pissed. You know what I'm saying? So I ate, I ate Popeye's, right? I ate Popeye's. And uh, when I got done with it, now what did I get at Popeyes? Okay, Popeyes, Popeyes, Popeyes. I got I got four chicky tendies, the spicy ones. They got to be spicy. I like spice. I don't know what it is about spice, but I like to torture myself, and then that like infuriates my asshole, and then my asshole just decides to release at the most inconvenient time in my life. So. I was going to get it on my way home from work, like eat there and then drive home. And I was in South City. But then I was like, you know what? No, no, no. I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to eat this stuff. And then four minutes after I'm completely done, I am going to shit my my fucking pants, dude. This is what it is. And and no joke, bro. I got home. I ate it up. You know, quick status too. I hadn't eaten all day. So I ate it up quick status. And sure enough, four minutes later, in the in the toilet, bro. It was just disgusting. It was so gross. But if you're eating lunch right now, yeah, man, it was it was gross. You know, it was. I had to use half the ply of toilet paper. Insane, insane. Oh man, dude. Hey, but uh, so so yeah. Um, the little uh, the little diet thing. You know, it's it's been it's been kind of a shit show. Cause then I also after all that, you know. I bought a case of uh, Coors Light. I figured, you know, I talked about it on the last episode. If I've been drinking this much white cloud, I might as well just drink beer. I got time, right? I got time. So, and then I was, and then I started to think about why, like, my motivation to work out has just been like at an all time low. Like, I go, and that's fine. But I was like, you know what, dude? All the times that I've had like crazy motivation to go work out was after like a breakup or a heartbreak, you know? You know, like the whole saying, like, breakups make bodybuilders, eh, right? You know, it's all over the internet. And uh, it's, dude, it's honestly facts, bro. It really is. It's so crazy, man. So so that's why I'm, I'm like, looking forward to, to now, now, as of right now, I'm 100% open to dating somebody. I just am. And then, you know, we build up this relationship because I'm going to start doing good dates now. I'm going to start doing little things. I'm going to start leaving post-it notes everywhere. You know, I'll sleep over at her house. She'll wake up in the morning. I'm already gone, but I leave a post-it note on her mirror. And it's like, ha you're ugly, cute, smiley face. And then it's just cute. So, uh, and then I'll, I'll write another one under that one. And it says, your feet smell really bad, but I love you anyways. And then, you know, it's just little cute things. And, and then that keeps us together for quite some time. Um, because who doesn't love words of affirmation, right? So, so, so then we build up this relationship 
and it's great. It's a great relationship. But the only reason I'm there is so I can get my workout motivation back. So I don't really care that much. But I make it seem like I care because the more I build it up, the more of an effect that breakup is going to have on me and my working out. <laughs> so, so, so I'm going to invest so much time and emotion into this, this relationship just for it to fail. Just so that I can get back into the gym. <laughs> Like 100%. Oh, man. And that's my plan, bro. It really is. God. There's nothing. Dude, you know, I don't know what it is about motivation. Like motivational speaking and, and you know, like, I think I, I've talked about this before. But motivational speaking is just like, it doesn't speak to me. It just doesn't. I don't know why. Like, you, like if you've listened to Rogan, the guy like David Goggins, who's like this ex military guy, and he's just a savage when it comes to like working out, and like he'll do just the most insane fitness uh, exercise routines and whatever, whatever. And I've heard people talk about how you know that guy motivates the fuck out of me, and like this and that. Like, yeah, that's cool, but for whatever reason. It did not hit me whatsoever. <laughs> it just did it because that guy, if you hear him talk and the, hear, hear the shit that he's done, it's like, okay, I'm never going to be that. I'm just never going to be that. Not, not even close. Right. But you know, people who listen to him that are, that are actually motivated by it, you know, that's good. That I think that's fucking awesome for real. But then I look at that and, and I just, I'm just like, dude, I can't tell if you're doing just too much or what. It just, not, not specifically with David Goggins, but like, like, uh, just any, any motivational speaker. I'm like, I, I don't, I can't tell if you're doing too much, if you're kind of like just selling yourself. Cause you know, those motivational speakers, they get like hella money by having like, like seminars and shit like that. Like there's a lot of shit that I just don't buy. Like who who's that fucking Gary V? That Gary V guy? He's always like swearing at people. <laughs> oh my god. You got like a parent in the stands or like my son doesn't know if he wants to go to college. He wants to be a YouTuber and then Gary V's like your kid doesn't need to fucking go to college. Have you seen the internet nowadays? He can fucking do whatever he wants if he puts his mind to it, right? <laughs> he says some fucking bullshit like that. I'm like, "What do you what is this? This is supposed to be mo- this should be like, like, I don't know, man. Those seminars are just literally bullshit to me. If you, if you, dude, you will never see me at a fucking motivational speaking seminar. You just will not see me there. I would rather go to an AA meeting, not even having a problem. I just, I'll just go, you know what, bro? It's actually not a bad idea. I'm going to go to an AA meeting and it's supposed, it's all supposed to be confidential. I believe you're not supposed to talk about it when you're in AA. I don't think so. Uh, to like people that aren't in it, but I'll go in there, listen to the stories, and then come on here and tell the story. <laughs> they'll like, come around to me and they'll be like, "Hi, I'm Juice," and everyone's just like, "I'll be like, hi, I'm Juice," and then everyone's like, "Hello, Juice," because we'll be in a fucking auditorium, <laughs> and then and then I'll be like, "But I, you know, I don't really got a problem. I'm just here just to listen so that I don't make the same mistakes that you guys did," and then they all just get hella pissed at me, but. Uh, yeah, bro. I what did this start from? Oh yeah, yeah. Breakups and motivation. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Um, but and it's not even it, dude. It's not even. I I have like this this uh weird mentality right now in my life. That's super confusing to me. Like I feel like I I need. I don't even know what it is. I guess like I'll be I'll be a hundred percent raw with you guys right now. I mean fuck it, you know. I'm always I'm always putting on a show, I'm always joking and shit, but um Yeah, I guess I could just be raw with you guys for a little bit. Um the past couple of weeks, man, have been like just really hard for me mentally. I it's oh my god, it's so weird saying this on the microphone. It really is because I try to just be like, you know, free spirit and joking and shit, which I know it can be annoying at sometimes, but it's different like being real and don't, don't get me wrong. Hey, look, before I say this, I want to say something that somebody said to me uh, a couple weeks ago 
And it, this is legit. Like somebody said this to me uh, when I was hanging out with them, but it had to do with work. So, so I was working with somebody and it was the morning, you know, the morning of work, right? Um, and this is a person that I can always joke around with, that I always joke around with, you know, but we were, we were getting shit up, uh, shit up to the roof and, uh, he, I, I didn't, I'll tell you what he said. Let me just tell you what he said. He goes, you, you're very different in person than you are on your podcast. And I didn't know how to take that really because sure on the podcast, like on the podcast, I obviously want to be entertaining. I obviously want to, you know, have fun and joke around because normally that's my, that's my personality. Like I like to put on a show. Uh, if you're somebody that I feel comfortable enough to do that now, don't get me wrong. I'm not always the life of the party. If I go nine times out of 10, if I go somewhere and I don't really know everybody, I will generally be quiet for sure. Um, but when he said that, I was like, fuck man, I wasn't mad at him for saying that by any means. I wasn't mad at it. I just didn't know how to respond to it because I'm like, I don't want people to think that I am fake on my podcast. Uh, versus being in real life. And that sat with me the entire day. This was a while ago. This was uh, this was like two months ago, I guess. But it sat with me the entire day, and I was like, fuck, do people like think that about me? But I was like, nah, because I don't even really hang out with anybody. And when I do, the most part, or for the most part, when I do hang out with people, as of you know recently, I guess, um, I'd be more vocal. But when I'm with my close friends... Bro, I'm I'm exactly how I am on my podcast. I really am. But uh so when he said that, I was like, fuck, I don't want people to think that if they see me in public or whatever. I hope I really hope people don't think that I'm I'm like just com- two different people and this is like fake. Because generally, I mean, I, I obviously I come off as seeming comfortable on my podcast because I've been doing it for so long. But uh, I don't know, that that it was just a interesting little comment that he made. And then I was like, yeah, but bro, you got to understand, like, you know, I'm at work. Like, there's a time and place for everything. I know we can joke around all the time. I I know that. This is what I said to him. I was like, I know we can joke around, but, you know, we're at work right now. Like, yeah, it's also eight in the morning on a Monday. What what do I got to be funny for right now? I, you know, and I don't, I might have just been having like a, a, rough start of the week. I don't, I don't know what it was, but I guess I was just a little bit more quiet than usual. But that's the thing is, what made him say that finally? Like, was that like over a series of events or whatever? And I didn't ask him that far. But yeah, just just an interesting, um, interesting thing that somebody said to me. But like I said, I wasn't mad about it. It was actually uh, quite eye opening. It really made me think about it because I was like, dude, I really don't want to be that person that's one person on camera and then that's a different person off camera. But then also, you know people don't know the full story of things that go on in other people's lives that are on social media. And of course, everyone on social media is going to post their highlights of their life, right? So, so what I was going to say was before I went and said what he said, um, I was going to say that, you know, these past couple weeks have just been interesting for me. I don't know why they're like, they're, uh, I definitely feel like a sense of a high sense of anxiety, which is crazy. Um, It's crazy for me to acknowledge it, like say it out loud, because I haven't said it out loud until just now. But I, when I say it, it's all, it's weird because it's almost like a a sense of relief that I'm acknowledging that I know about it. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's just been, I've been in, I've, I've had some weird moods over the past couple weeks. Um, you know, my parents are about to move to Texas and that is just weird in and of itself um, because I'll just be here. And, I, you know, it actually really bums me out that I can't go be with them. Um, so there's just been <clears throat> there's been like a number of things <clears throat> that are going on. Um, and, you know, sometimes I feel like I just got to share it, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, because I'm always so jokey and uh Sometimes you got to be real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, I'm going to keep doing my thing. And uh, I, I I think um, I'm going to take next week off. 
uh, not for any of these reasons, but the the main reason is because I'm going to be on call for work, and when it comes to record, I, I mentioned this at the end of last week's episode, but um, when I'm on call for work, it's just very difficult to record. Uh, and I, guys, sorry if you know it just got a little, it got serious, but I'm going to bring it back up in a second. I just want to, you know, I just had to make things clear. Um, just tell you what's going on in my life. You know, I didn't, I didn't by any means tell you really anything, but I just want to let you know where my head's at right now. And, um, if you're a true juicer, you know, you know, that's how it is. And if you're a new listener, I'm sorry about that, but you know, I got, I got to let my rider dies now. So, um, yeah, next week, uh, I'm not going to have an episode. I haven't fully decided yet, but if I don't just, this is wise cause I'm on call and, uh, it, it, these weeks off that I've been taking off, I've taken like two over the past like three months, but, um, they actually really help my mental health, like no bullshit. A lot of my stress and I, I hate saying this. I really hate saying this. A lot of my stress comes from the podcast because I want to stay on a schedule. I really do. And I want to make sure that I have new shit for me to talk about with you guys and new jokes and, you know, all that stuff. Um, it, so it catches up to me quite often. And uh, But, you know, this is something that I am I continue to be passionate about and I want to keep my word when, you know, I start I started to do something. And that goes into stand-up comedy, right? I just, I was just, just before I started recording, I was w- going down the list of all my fucking material. That is literally a huge list. I need to bite the bullet, but this is more of my focus right now. And I'll get to that when I get to that. But there's so many things that I want to do. And I just, it's so hard to have all these aspirations. And I want to travel to go, I, I want to specifically travel down to SoCal. Um, so I can try and work my way in with some people that I've been in contact with to maybe do something else with the podcast, but it's hard balancing that with having a full-time job um, that I need to take seriously because that's what pays my bills. So there's there's so many things that are going on in my head constantly that just catch up to me and it just, sometimes it drives my mood down and sometimes people call me out for it and you know, it is what it is. Like I said, though, my my coworker that said that, he I know it didn't come from a bad place. It really didn't. Um, you can you can read shit like that, and that's not um, that's not what I got from from when he said that. But anyways, uh, yeah, man. Hey, so all right, all right, we're we're switched around though, really quick. Um, I've okay, so I've been on Twitter like a shit ton. Obviously, I'm on Twitter like every day, and I don't know if like okay, hold on, how do I want to word this? Dude, everyone's having kids now. <laughs> like, I not people that I know. I mean, people that I know have kids or are, are you know, they're in a position where eventually there's going to be a kid coming out sometime soon. But I've been seeing, like, so many f- things about babies. There, People are announcing that they're pregnant. And I'm like, man, that's so weird because I remember, you know, back in the day you hear someone's going to be pregnant. And you're like, fuck, man, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Are they going to keep it? You know, but now I'm 25, you know, my friends are like a year younger than me or a little older than me. I'm still just, I'll, I'm probably going to be that fucking 38 year old, right? That's like, people tell me that they're about to have a baby. And I'm like, fuck, man, really? What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, man, dude, I'm totally going to be that guy, bro. Ah. Hey, but listen, man, I, you know, so what I was going to say was, I've been seeing like newborns on, on, um, not newborns, but you know, like little, t- there's like, okay, obviously there's newborn, right? Baby fresh out the vag. And then you got like, like six month six to 12 month year old babies. Those are fucking adorable, but it's weird. Okay. For me, it's weird saying that as a guy, I don't know why I don't remember last week I was saying everything sexualized. No, that's not sexualized by any means, but you know. That's like, that's like saying like, 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 uh, you know, like toddlers are cute, like a little, like a little boy or a little girl. They're just, they're just cute. If they're cute, there's a lot of ugly ones though. Don't get me wrong. But like, I feel like it's weird to say, is that just me? Like, I don't want that to be weird, but I feel like it's, I can't just be like, oh my God, that look at that two year old girl. She's so fucking cute. I, I guess it's not that weird. I don't know, but I don't say it. I don't say it in public. I'll say it like in my head, like oh, girl's cute, man. I want a daughter. I do want a daughter, though, because I don't want fucking any more boys in my family. I'm done. But then I think about all the shit that I see girls do on the internet. I'm like, God damn it. No, I don't want that. And if I do have that, 
I can't. I can't. No. I see. A lot of guys will be like, if I have a daughter, I'm never fucking letting her wear that shit out. I mean, she's not going to be out past 11, fucking this and that. I'm like, yeah. That's why those girls that are showing their tits on TikTok do that. Because their dad fucking didn't let them go out and stay out past 11, you know? Oh, my God. And that's so... Dude, that is so fucking facts, man. It's so true. Because... Like a, a handful of the girls that I know or that I've dated, right, They their parents didn't have any rules for them. Like not, okay, they had rules obviously, but you know, like they weren't like super uh, uh, protective over, you know, what they wore or like how late they were out, which is kind of, it. Uh, that's obviously like, it's got to be a parent by parent thing, rule setting. But, you know, most of the girls that I know are even just g- girls and guys. You set rules for these kids. Kids are going to want to break them, right? That's just rules are meant to be broken. That's just what it is. I still believe that. So um, it's just, it's hard, man. You you either got a good one or you don't. (laughs) But I've been seeing all these fucking things about, you know, people giving birth or or little, little toddler shit. I don't know why that's on my feed, but it just is. I follow like a lot of girls that like retweet shit like that. So I'm like seeing it. And then I see like the baby fever shit like. Oh, man, dude, that's another thing. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. I, you know, I've had, I, I had so much baby fever. So much, man, you know. But that's the thing, though. It's like I, all kids, dude, babies and toddlers, your friend's kids, your cousin's kids, they're all cute until it's your kid. I don't know from experience, obviously, but I can only imagine, dude. I got siblings, okay? Them motherfuckers are the most annoying people I've ever met in my life. But then if I go see another toddler that's not in my family, I'm like, this motherfucker is so cute. I wish I had one of you. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm your little brother. I'm ready. Yeah, but fuck you, piece of shit. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is. It's just, you know, like, if I, if I like, got a girl pregnant, man, what would I do? All right. All right, let's act. Let's let's act this out really quick. Hold on. All right. Well, let's let's paint a setting. Okay, let's paint a setting. We'll set a painting. All right. <laughs> we will paint a setting, <laughs> right, of a girl calling me and telling me she's pregnant. Okay. Action. I'm walking out of the strip club at three in the morning. I get a phone call. Bing, bing, bing. I'm wasted. Hello. I, oh, I, oh, I got to change my exchange. Change my I'm wasted, right? I'm fucking stumbling out of the strip club, right? I got I got booty sweat on my shirt. I fucking, hello? Yo, who's this? And I don't even check the number. But on the other end, she goes, I'm pregnant. And I'm like, I'm like, and I'm not in a relationship at the time. So I'm like, oh, wait. You're pregnant with whose kid, right? It's three in the morning. Who else would you be fucking calling if it wasn't the actual dad? So, so she's like, you motherfucker, who else? Why would I be calling your dumb ass at three in the morning? I'd be like, God damn, bro. This couldn't wait until tomorrow morning, bro. I just got fucking four lap dances. What are you talking about? Yeah, I didn't know my kid. I know you've been around. What's up? Don't waste, no, you wasting my minutes. You're wasting my minutes on some fake shit. Get out of my ears. Hang up, right? And then I started to think about it. I was like, wait, hold on. I definitely didn't pull out, right? And I started, I'm just like, my heart's racing. You know, I got, uh, I got, um, I don't even know what I got. I got dilated pupils because, you know. And then I'm in an Uber, right? I go home and she's texting me and she goes, listen, motherfucker, you're the dad. I don't know what to tell you. I'll see your ass on Maury, right? I'll see your ass (laughs) on I'll see you, I'll see your ass on Maury. And then I'm like, nah, 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 I ain't got to be put on blast like that in public. So, so then I'm like, all right, here's the deal. If you're pregnant, meet me at the hospital, right? We'll go to the, we'll go to the gyne, gynecolonoscopist, right? We'll go check him out and he'll give us the details. Him, he or she, cause you know, um, so we go to the gynecolonoscopist, right? 
<laughs> and then uh and then you know they do the the ultra noise um ultrasound thing and and she got her legs up right and they're sticking the thing in her and then I'm like, you like that? You like it? And I, but I'm kidding, and the nurse doesn't think it's funny. But um, but so we find out that she's not only pregnant, she has twins, right? She's got twins. So then I'm like, oh no. And then they're, and they're like, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Oh my god, it's triplets. And then I'm just like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And then and then and then uh, so I'm 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 crying, right? Just because disbelief and uh, child support. So. So then, uh, they, they, they clean her up. They, she gets her clothes back on and she's like, we'll schedule another appointment for you guys to come back in a couple of weeks to check on the, the, the babies and stuff. And then I'm like, all right, bet we'll see. And, and then we leave the office, right? We leave the office and you know, we start walking down the hall and she goes and presses the elevator button and I'm like, stop. What are you doing? She's like, what? And I'm like, we're taking the stairs. <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm about to be locked up. They won't let me out, boy. Oh, shit, call me Akon. God damn it. Hey, that's just, hey, look, that's just what's going to happen if I get, you know, if I get somebody pregnant and it turns out to be triplets, right, we're taking the stairs, bro. <laughs> we're taking the stairs. Oh, no, boy. Oh, no. Oh, let's get down to business, dude. Fuck. Hey, bro, some of these fucking stories, <laughs> hey, man, some of these stories that I just pull out of my ass, bro, hey, man, I don't know, I don't know, hey, uh, so a couple, or no, when was this, when was this, when was this, this was last week, and I was having a conversation about my last hookup, and then it got me thinking about one other time when I hooked up with this chick. So so I had this conversation. We we're trying to compare worst hookups, right? I haven't had too many bad ones just ever, just haven't. But one time. Let me just tell you what happened and then what I'm gonna start doing from now on, okay? Nah, fuck it. Let me just tell you what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna when I whenever I plow, right? Whenever I plow and and you know not it's just gonna be every single girl. I'm going to wear a t-shirt. I just am. I'm going to just wear a t-shirt. You know like how fat people wear t-shirts at swimming pools? Right. But my, I actually I actually have a reason, right? Because fat people that wear t-shirts at swimming pools, listen, I mean, what are you doing? Hey, you hiding You hiding your fat? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so whenever I have sex, right, I'm just always going to wear a t-shirt. And it's not, it's not cause like, you know, oh, if someone walks in, I'm not fully naked. No, no, no. It's not anything that has to do with that. It, that has nothing to do with it. But the reason that I would wear a shirt is so that if she's reversed, you know, if she's doggy, right? And I'm behind her and that shit stinks. Hey bro, I'm, I'm pulling my shirt over my nose and we're fucking good to go, dude. <laughs> hey man. Hey, I told my buddy that. And <laughs> Oh my god, fool was cracking up. Hey, that listen, that's not a bad move. It's just not a bad move. And then she's like, "Why is your shirt on?" I'd be like, "And that's when you lie. That's when you're like, well, you know, if someone walks in, I I don't, you know, I don't want to be fully naked, right? Right?" She's like, "The door's locked." And I'm like, "Ah, you know, people break doors down all the time. You never know." Um <laughs> so you just fucking lie your way out, but but, you know, even when she's turned around, and and you're clapping those cheeks and that shit's right in front of your nose, right under your nose, I should say. All you got to do is just fucking, and you got to say, don't look back at me. I don't like that shit because then she won't see you put your shirt over your nose <laughs> and you're fucking good. And but you got to be wearing deodorant though. You got to wear deodorant because, or body lotion, because if you put your, your, your shirt over your nose, you're going to be smelling the inside of you, right? And you want to smell good and, or you don't want to smell some shit. So you got to make sure you smell good and then you're good to go. So 10, 10 advice, 10, 10 advice. <laughs> Hey man, I'm all about the hacks, bro. I'm all about the life hacks. So, uh, with that being said, oh, we gotta we gotta go over our our uh, our weekly angel talk, right? Our weekly angel TikTok. Remember last week? Last week's angel talk was the girl that said, "Look at your penis," and and love it. You just gotta love your penis, right? So that's what we gotta do on this. 
And look at man, are you seeing this girl? And if you're just watching, or if you're listening to the audio and you're not seeing this, pff, figure it out, bro. For real, for for for. But um, yeah, let's see what this number has to say. Can I tell you a secret? Yes. Men are always complimenting women. Yeah. Yet we hardly do the same in return. Have That's you ever been told how nice your, you know what is? Because <laughs> if you haven't, I'd love to be the first one too. Hey, bro! I sent her a DM and she didn't respond. <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm fucking weak right now. Hey, but, bro, get a so fucking look at those bazookas. You for real? My God. Hey, let me say something really quick. Remember a couple episodes ago, I think it was my Mexican versus Irish one. I was talking about girls with tattoo sleeves. Bro, are you for real, for real? <laughs> like, hey, here's another thing, bro. Here's another thing. Let me just take a sip of this really quick. Hey, let me say something about this chick. What's her name? Mandy Cat. Mandy with three I's and f three T's. Mandy Cat. All right. Hey, bro. This chick, first of all, she's stunning. Hey, oh my God. I got to tell you guys something. So, so this girl, right? That body right there. Hey, dude. That is like, that's me. That's all me. That's just... I fucking bust to that shit. And I is this weird now? Is it we good? Let's that that's what it is. Is it's if it's got to be weird, it's going to be weird. Hey, bro, that is like the body that I admire. You know, I just I fantasize about it. None of this like skinny long back shit, you know. <laughs> Extended back Sally. No, 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 none of that. But like a little bit of like meat on them, you know what I'm saying? Not like not like, you know, not thickums for the hot air balloon. This girl perfect hot air balloon date for real for real for real because she's you know she's got a little like i i don't even know what the word like thickness but thick is good when you know you'll see on twitter like a like a like a fucking 210 bitch calling herself thick nah bro thick ain't the word man i don't know what to tell you that's just not it it's you know you ain't thick bro that's literally just phat fat you know what i'm saying this girl she got some thickness to her in all aspects and that to me, is fucking goddess. It's, you know? God has favorites, and she's one of them. I'll tell you that. God, man. I get so butthurt with shit like that, because I'm like, why couldn't it have been me, bro? Why couldn't it have been me? You know when people say that when they when like one of their friends dies, and you're like, why couldn't it have been me? Well, when I see this chick with bazooka tanks and a fucking nice-ass face, I'm like, why couldn't it have been me, bro? Why couldn't you give me bazooka tanks, right? So that shit, you know, infuriates me. I don't think I've hit my jewel once on this episode, have I? I don't think I have. Oh my god, that's a record. What's it been, bro? It's been... Holy shit, it's been 42 minutes. God damn, that's what's up. Alright, let me rip my jewel. Really quick. <laughs> Alright, and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's watch this one. This one's... I think this is a good one. Um... <laughs> hey, bro... I, this shit made me laugh so hard and it was it was like really out of pocket but I need you guys to understand how true this is I just need you to understand how true it is I just know that there is some guy named Joe out there that refers to his cum as Jogurt and everybody that has ever heard him say that <laughs> hates it keep doing you Joe <laughs> hey bro I swear to god I call my cum Jogurt and sometimes I call it Joe Play Yogurt. And hey, I'm not going to lie, though, for for a period of my life, I uh, at the time I was with someone, I'm not going to say who, because they're not listening. Well, people know them, but I'm just not going to say it. It could be a number of people. You guys have no idea. I've dated hundreds of girls. No, I'm kidding. But I used to, call, because this person hated when I said it, I used to call it ooze. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey bro. I hey, I'm not even fucking bullshitting. You know, cause some people would be like, Did you finish? I'd be like, Oh my god, I oozed. <laughs> hey, on no bullshit either, bro. I used to say that shit and it made me uncomfortable. Oh my god, it made me uncomfortable, but it was so much more funnier knowing that they fucking hated every second of me saying that every time I said it. Oh dude. So great. Then I got cheated on. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, 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 no,
Man, I'm drinking fucking buble, bro. I feel like I'm. I sound like I'm saying shit that I should be saying when I'm fucking four shots in. All right, and then what's another one? Oh, dude, you guys gotta see this, bro. What? Hey, I saw this and it was just so. It was so like, I would. I didn't know how to react. I didn't know how to react. Okay, this is like some out of pocket shit. And if you're not, if bro, if you. If you're just listening to the audio, you, I got to have you understand that, you know, there's a video portion of this podcast and you should go check it out on YouTube and give it a thumbs up. <laughs> no, I don't sleep on my cheeks like this, bro. but I can sleep like this, you see? And it's it's okay. Hey, so bro. But I prefer... Hey, really quick, dude. If you're just listening to this fucking episode, this chick, she's Russian. I checked out her, her profile. But... Dude, you ever? All right, let me try to paint a picture for you. If you're just listening, you ever seen the movie Saw? And the little character, the little jigsaw, the little jigsaw character, bro. The cheeks, like the cheeks on her face, are like, bro. They're just like inflated. You know, like right under her eyes, like right under both eyes. Her cheeks are extra three dimensional, inflated, like inflated. Sorry, um, it's just disgusting, man. It is disgusting. Sleep on my back. It's the oh most comfortable. Oh my god, thing. dude! But now I can't sleep on my back because of my butt. <laughs> hey, dude. In what world do people actually fuck with that? <laughs> you know. Like, I mean, I've talked about before on this podcast, there's like guys, it's on uh, My Strange Addiction, there's this guy on there that that gets, um, he gets like plastic surgery muscles, right? It's so fucking weird. Like, pla- like he, he gets like implants on his biceps, he gets implants on, on um, you know, implant, oh, I'm trying to look it up, implant muscles. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, this dude's fucking nuts. Replace your. Oh, I got mute out the fucking ad. Hey, bro, this shit, like, I don't even know what to think about people that do this. I, I just don't. Because, like, what? Hey, man, just go fucking work out, you know? This is just the people that want the easy road. Designer and body modifications, it's much more about and making myself completely exceptionally different from anyone else. Bro, what? Hi, my name is Justin Jedlica. I'm 36 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California. Hey, bro. Justin, uh, what are you doing? I work as a beauty broker and custom implant design specialist. And uh, I'm known in the media as the human Ken doll. So tomorrow I'm going he to He looks have a basically like James Charles. 2 years in planning but uh, less hot. having a revision on my <laughs> latissimus implant so those are the wings on your back. Wings, not and, lats, uh, wings. I'm having my teres implant, one of them moved just for symmetry and then I'm also having one of my forehead veins uh, cut, tied off and ablated. Right, I had my right, first right. latissimus procedure about 2 years ago and I was the first person in the world to ever embark on an augmentation to their back. Nice. So I can That's good. That's the healthy. Surgery. I designed the implants, see everything healed well. It uh, Oh, that looks it just natural. Ends up being a little Fuck, bit bro. So this is an exact replica, a sample of the implant that'll go into my back just tomorrow. Hey, I probably bro. have to put myself around 550 cosmetic Wait. procedures. Yeah. Uh, as far as full-on surgeries, I think this is going to be surgery number 36. Bruh. For me, uh, I look at this as being an art form. I really oh. genuinely enjoy the design process. This. Hey, bro. <laughs> this guy said he thinks it's an art form. Huh? No, motherfucker. Bodybuilding is an art form. Okay? That's just what it is. The the goat himself said it, Arnold Schwarzer N word. You know, I don't. I, you can't say you can't say Arnold's last name anymore because you can only say it if you're black. But from now on, I say Arnold Schwarzer N word. I almost just said it. That's fucked up. Fuck. Hey, I just, I've been catching myself today, bro. What's up? Hey, but 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 
30 something surgeries, bro? Huh? Surgery tomorrow is good. It's costing me 21,000 in total, including the implants. Yeah. With this extra right, $21,000, right. I have to be at 500 and sixty something thousand dollars total at this point so oh my god man hey nah dude nah we're not doing that shit hell no hey come on dude i i i really don't know why people do the things that they do but listen if you got that fucking cash flow then by all means do you partner but fuck man People get carried away with that plastic surgery shit. And I know I joke around that shit. I know I joke around with it all, all the time about my nose. <laughs> but, bro, come on. I'm never going to fucking do that shit. I mean, are you serious? Hey, man. The human Ken doll. I mean, what? <laughs> nah, you know? <laughs> Dude, hey, but in all fairness, his face, he's got plastic surgery in his face. But... You know, I've seen, uh, nah, actually, now that I look at it again, I was going to say, I've seen worse plastic surgery faces, but this guy is, is pretty bad. Like, I'll let you be the judge of it again one more time. Like, look at this shit. Oh my God, dude. Like, his cheeks on his face are, are like, they're not as bad as the TikTok that we just watched, but... You know, if they inject just a little bit more in there, it's like right there. But fuck, dude. What do you mean lip fillers, bro? You're a guy, you know? <laughs> hey, what's up with that faux hawk, bro? What is this, 2004? Nah, I'm kidding. I used to rock that shit last year. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Hey, all right. So, really, hey, dude. Did you guys hear about... Hold on, I gotta switch mics. Did you guys hear about that fucking... Uh, that Adrian kickback? Bro, what? I saw this shit all over TikTok, right? And... I mean, I didn't even know what it was at first. But I was like, hold on. This actually looks lit as fuck. It was Huntington Beach. This kid, Adrian, just some random kid in California like, posted, like, this invitation for this kickback or whatever, and, um, apparently it went viral, and hella people showed up, I was like, bro, what, what do you mean, if I say, hey, everyone, come to my kickback for my, my, my 26th birthday, it's at the Golden Gate Bridge, fucking registered sex offenders are gonna show up, and that's it, <laughs> My friends ain't even going to come. It's just going to be sex offenders. All right, so let's check this out. This shit was nuts. It was like Project X. Who the fuck is Adrian and what happened at the kickback? The real Adrian, 17 years old, not anything posted right now. Posted this because he wanted to celebrate his birthday. This just went fucking viral. Overnight fucking meme. Right on TikTok, but then went to Twitter and Instagram. Some of the biggest TikTokers were talking about it. Some of the Hype House members. Like, literally everyone. Actual kickback happened. The guy said he drove 18 hours with 200 BMWs to come to Adrian's kickback. People were literally flying to California for this. Hey, bro, people won't even drive 40 minutes just to see me. <laughs> You got motherfuckers flying in from across the country to go to this shit that no one even knows the guy. I, I'm bummed about this because not I, I'm not fucking capping, bro. I had friends that are that were down there, not for this, but they were down there. I would have made time to go down there and experience this. I didn't hear about it until after it happened. I don't know. I started seeing shit afterwards, or actually, no, that's not true. I, well. I started seeing shit as it was happening. Like, you know, on Snapchat, the little news things. I never watched those. But, dude, I started watching. I was like, what the fuck is going on in Huntington right now? Holy shit. And then I see the, the actual videos of it. And I'm like, oh my god, dude, that looks lit. Literally, people saying that he charged $40 for his venue. Here is some of the shit that went down. Yeah, 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 bro, fireworks in the street and shit. Huntington Rager, bro. Made it to multiple news networks, including TMZ. They reported that 21 adults and 28 juveniles were actually arrested. Power of TikTok is fucking crazy. Jin's Kit Kat Part Two. Damn man, that's nuts. Kids were arrested and shit. Uh, I have an article about it. I tried to read some of it before I started, but um, 
Yeah, bro. I mean, dude, the fucking... I'm pretty sure that guy just said it. The power of the internet is just insane. Uh, he made an invitation on Monday specifying a time, 7.30 p.m., place fire pits. Uh, slide through this Saturday. We finna turn out. <laughs> oh, I got Adrian's kickback. And then uh, it was meant to be for my school, which is Adrian. That's what he said. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a long fucking article. It's kind of pointless. Well, the video is really all we need to see. That's really all it is. But God damn, bro. And then, uh, yeah, like people were saying like Project X vibes. I saw a bunch of Project X memes. Dude, Project X. I mean, that movie just like set the... T- that movie couldn't have come out at a more perfect time than me when I was in high school. But here's the thing. That movie came out. Everyone and their grandmother fucking set up a Facebook page project xyz you know in half moon bay or whatever i was like all right dude come on man hey did i get invited to any of them we don't gotta talk about that but uh (laughs) hey am i even mad about it nah i mean fuck man it's kind of fucked up but uh hey that that project x movie you know what i just got hbo max i gotta watch that movie again bro for real for real for real for real real. but um Anyways, yeah, that shit. I was like, what, bro? That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Um, So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up two things that I have. So that I can go over some of them. So, on my, on my Instagram, at the Juice Box Podcast on Instagram, you can go follow it, please. That would be great. I posted a questions uh, thing on my story asking people to tell me what is like the dumbest decision that you made while you were drunk. So let's share a couple of them. Some of these are whatever, but some of them are also more whatever. Uh, Okay, whoa. All right, this first one is, (laughs) hey man. The dumbest thing someone's ever done while drunk. This person said, allow a boy to fuck me because his dick was too small and the condom fell off inside of me. Hey, let me just say this. I have had the condom come off inside of a woman before. Now, what does that mean about me? Because I don't know what small is from this person. This is a girl, by the way. Condoms can come out. In a lot of people, right? Kind of everybody, I guess. <laughs> but hey, man, don't 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 say that about my boy, right? I don't know who that is, but listen, I feel for him. I've been there, and people say that I got a small dick for that. I mean, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> hey, man, don't fuck it. Don't be saying shit about my boy like that. Wait, yeah, I'm not gonna say that one because that one's dumb. Uh, this one says, telling a girl over text that I thought she was going to put out, I was an asshole, lol. Wait, telling a girl over text that I thought she was going to put out, oh, oh, um, what does this mean? Like he, like he went on a date with someone, all right, let me just, I don't really have context, so I'm going to paint my own picture. <laughs> Uh, telling a girl over text, I thought she was going to put out. So like, so like you go on a date with the girl, right? I'm assuming maybe you paid for most of the stuff and then, and then, you know, she didn't suck your cock. I mean, what is, uh, what is putting out though? You like fuck or like give you a little rub and tug. Here's the thing, bro. Hand jobs. No, we're not doing it. No, we're not doing it. I, I don't need someone to come do something for me that I'm an expert at. You know, I, I, bro, oh my God, bro. I'm, I'm literally such an expert. I can do it in either 10 seconds or prolong for 20 minutes. You never know. Like if I find, a, I'll, I'll find the first video, click. If I really want to get it over with and I got shit to do, you know, crank, 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 bust, done. All right, moving on. You know, I move on with like a little bit of resentment and regret, but whatever. But then, you know, if I got some free time, Fuck it. Let's 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 scroll through some videos. You know what do we got? What, big tit black chick or you know anime tit uh, Hello Kitty outfit. What whatever it is. You know cosplay hentai. 
I don't fuck with hentai actually. No, no, no. But you know, hand jobs. No, no, no. If 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 I take a girl out on a date, right, and and I it's a nice date. It's a hot air balloon, right, with charcuterie boards and wine and shit. And we we get you know we're done. I'm driving her home. Whatever. She 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 pulls my pants down while I'm driving. And she gives me a hand job. Listen, man, ejecto cito, cuz you know what I'm saying. <laughs> No, man. You're not going to do something to me that I'm fucking X Games mode out. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, but you know what, man? Sometimes you got to call a chick out on her BS. You know what I'm saying? So I, you're not an asshole for it. I've done that. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I don't, I don't think I've ever texted a girl. But like, I thought we were going to fuck. But all right, I guess. You know, I've never done that. I'm pretty sure I haven't. My, I might have actually... <laughs> I, here's the thing. If I actually knew for a fact, I would actually tell you guys. But I just don't know. I can't remember. Normally, that shit is when like I'm wasted. So, normally, meaning like I text girls when I'm wasted, not text, I DM. But you know, I also haven't been on a date in a fucking minute, so it is what it is. Um, all right, what's next? Uh, I gotta read them before. Before uh, I'll just read them, and then if they're just dumb, then they're just dumb. My sister said, "Low key, when I'm sober at parties, and you watch drunk people." What? Maybe this was for, I think I asked for, for the dumbest and then the best. And this one's, they're watching drunk people at parties. Hey man, I, I love people watching. I do. Uh, especially when I'm drunk. Cause I think everything's fucking funny, but I'm the kind of person that like, if I hear some, some people arguing and shit, I'll like throw out like little condescending comments and shit. I'll be like, Oh yeah, is that what you're going to do? You're going to do that? <laughs> bro, there'll be two big ass black guys fighting. And this guy would be like, I'll fuck you up, bro, to the other black dude. And I'd be like, oh, is that what you're going to do? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> hey, I've done, no, okay, I don't do that to big black dudes. I only do that to short Asian guys. But I've done that before, and it's got me in trouble before. But, you know, you got to live, man. You got to live. You make stupid decisions. But, you know, then I could tell, talk about it on my podcast. Um, all right, this one says... <laughs> I'm assuming this is going to be... Uh, this is a toss-up, bro, because I said, what's well, the dumbest or best? This one says spending 4K at a strip club. I mean, all right. This could be either way, in my opinion. <laughs> you know? Hey, but 4K, what are you doing in there, you know? I feel like I know, considering who this is coming from. But, I, nah, actually, that didn't fucking happen. What are you doing with 4K at a strip club? First of all, can you even take that much out of the ATM? I don't know if you can. Is that... This is Cap... Hey, is this Cap? You know who you fucking are if you're listening to this. I need you to text me when you're listening to this. 4K? Did I know this already? I feel like I might have. I feel like I knew that it was a lot of money. I feel like I didn't know that it was 4K because 4K sounds like a... Bro, this is what I think about 4K. You know what I mean? Bro, I got fucking three hats on right now. Cap, cap, cap. That's what I got to say about that shit. Hey, bro, you got to let me know if that's what the case is because I don't know, man. And I, I'm capping it up right now for the rest of the podcast. How about that? Um, Damn, 4K, you better be getting fucking, you better be getting your gooch licked while getting top or nah. No, no, no. Hey, you know what 4K should get you in a strip club? Obviously sex, right? But protected because you don't know. Right? You don't know what they got. You probably got worse, actually. But, nah, I'm kidding. Not, hey, no, this isn't to the person that said this. Hey, come on, my, you're my boy. No, no, no. I'm saying in general, like, if you take 4K to a fucking strip club, right? I mean, what? Oh, I guess this doesn't mean it has to be, like, a private dance. It could just be, like, yeah. But you're not going to throw out fucking 4K, right, to just the person on the floor? Nah. You know, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? First of all, I'm not spending more than a hundred bucks at the strip club. How about that? Yeah. Listen, man, I'm balling on a budget. Whenever I have triplets, remember I'm gonna be on Maury, so I got that child support. But don't forget, we're gonna take the stairs. Now, if you spend 4K at a strip club, right? You go to the back room or wherever they take you, and 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 you should have like this big booty riding your cock. Okay? But not only is that happening, but you got someone you know, licking your gooch and then another one sucking on your toes, right? Right? And then a fourth one questionably making out with you. Making out might be too much. <laughs> hey, isn't that funny though that 
making out with them is the most sketch part. <laughs> because you fuck them, you can wear a condom and shit, right? But, you know. Getting your toes sucked, getting your gooch licked, and having your stripper bounce on your hog with protection. But the worst one is making out with one. <laughs> hey, man, what are we talking about here? All right, all right, all right. That was fun, that was fun. Um, Let's see. Worst thing, um, a buddy getting in a fight with an old Italian guy at a bar in Rome. Hey, that's some shit that I would do. <laughs> Like, like no questions. But I feel like, oh, no, 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 yeah, Italian would probably be the fucking guy. Hey, do Italians in Italy walk into a room and let everyone know that they're Italian? You know, like they do here? <laughs> it's, always, it's always, but no, nah, probably not, honestly. But if they did, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, fucking everyone, like, walks in the fucking building. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, huh? Uh, it was a fucking gabagoo, right? You know, they're fucking, they're wearing a wife beater with a gold chain and shit that they got from the Dollar Tree and shit. I don't know. <laughs> you know those guys, man? Ah, I should have added that to the list of people that got to let you know, right? Last week it was like vegans, fucking whoever else. And I forgot to say Italians. I forgot, man. God damn it. Hey, shout out to Alexa. She's going to fucking, uh, she invited me to this Jersey Shore thing. This part, oh, bro, I got to get, I got to fucking go all out on that shit. I think I'm going to be Mike the Situation, for real, for her. That's the guy that I can, you know, look like. I'm going to get my neck brace and shit with the, with the glasses, right? Wear like a popped collar button down or something. I don't know, but it's going to be tight. And uh, yeah, bro, getting in a fight with an old Italian guy, though, I mean, hey. I'll save that for like Africa, you know? If I'm going to get in a fight with somebody that's foreign, might as well just get my ass beat, right? I might have, I might be able to put up a, I don't know, man, not an old man, though, right? Because they got that old man strength. That old man strength is fucking legit, bro. I don't know what it is. There's been a lack of testosterone in the world over the years. Bro, I remember... Hey, I gotta take these hats off, bro. But I remember uh, when I was a kid, like, whatever, in, like, middle school or something. And, like, I would, like, say I was in fifth grade, right? Fifth grade. And then, you know, I would see, like, the eighth graders. And, bro, the eighth graders looked like fucking adults. It was so weird. And then, you know, when I got to high school, like like freshman year, and I looked at the seniors, I was like, those motherfuckers go here? They're, you're telling me that's not a college student? Looking at the fucking the, the football players and shit? Like, you, that motherfucker is 17? Huh? Like, that's a fucking specimen, dude. And then now you look at senior fucking high schoolers. Bro, they look like they're 12. I was one of them. You know, it's weird. The testosterone is just plummeting. I don't know what it is. It's probably got to have something to do with like the foods that we eat and shit. I don't know. It's weird. But I noticed that. But then like the old man strength, that shit is not cap. So I actually probably wouldn't want to fight an old man for real. Unless he has like a, you know, you fight an old man, you might be able to like knock out his hip or something, right? <laughs> go for Go for what they usually got to get replaced, which is like hips. So I don't know. I like it'd be pretty easy to just, I'll just like go up to an old man and just blow on his hip and he's fucking, he's out of the fight already. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let's see. Damn, bro. This one sounds like cap. I might save some of these. Hey, bro. I forgot to save my juice debates. That's chill. Wait, hold on. I think I, hold on. Oh no, sorry. Okay. I found, I found my other one. Okay. I'm going to, I'm just going to do two. So, um, all right, check this out. I was watching a video on, do you guys know FouseyTube? I think that's his name. He's like a YouTuber, but he's like super irrelevant now. Anyways, I was watching a video of him in a heated argument with somebody. I don't know who it was, but it was on TikTok. I saw it and, uh, Fousey was in a heated argument with somebody on a podcast, I think it was No Jumper. No, yeah, it might have been. And uh, dude, Fuzzy got so mad at this kid that he was. And Fuzzy's like a he's like a jacked guy, you know. He's pretty big. I don't know how tall he is, but he's probably like six foot. And he's just like a he's 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 not a bad built guy. Let's just put it that way. He's he's been working out, right? And uh, he gets in an argument with this guy who's like a skinny guy, right? He's like a skinny, smaller dude, probably the same height. I don't know. 
but he gets so heated that he like stands up and like yells at the kid and he's like I'm a fucking alpha okay don't talk to me that way don't disrespect me bro I'm alpha as fuck you know and I was watching that and I was like bro for you to call yourself an alpha in a heated argument has got to be one of the most beta things you could ever do on anything that's going to be put on the internet, you know? Oh, man, it was so hard to watch. And I was like, bro, I need to make a poll about this because I want to know what people think. And I was pretty disappointed (laughs) with the people that voted alpha. I don't know if they voted for it as a joke, but that's got to be the most beta shit, dude. Like you, if if you're an alpha, or if you're a fucking queen, or if you're something that's just like up there, right? You should never have to voice that out loud. I feel like you know, ever. That's just me. That's that's the people's job, you know. If the people think that about you, then they're gonna let you know. And maybe people have let him know. But I don't really ever go around being like, hey, that guy right there, that's a fucking alpha. You know, I don't fucking say shit like that. Come on, man. If someone's a good dude, then they're a good dude. If someone's a nice chick, she's a nice chick, whatever. But to call people alpha, or to call yourself alpha, calling people alpha is whatever. But like, if you call yourself an alpha, God, that's the most pussy shit I ever heard in my life. You know, that's, that's it. That's just my opinion. Now, now, now listen. There's a difference between calling yourself an alpha versus being confident. Sure. Yeah. You can be confident. But, you know, I feel like there's like a blurred blurred line between the word confident and cocky. Or people just don't know how to express them the way that they mean to express it, right? He was being more cocky in that, I think, about um him being an alpha, right? You don't just say you're not. It's just fucking, come on, man. You look weak when you say that, you know? You think fucking lions walk around the fucking, you know, the safari and they roar? And they're like, ah, I'm an alpha. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, lions don't be doing that shit. They just are, you know? They just are. Fuck, man. I don't know, bro. Like, who do I think is an alpha in all seriousness? And what makes them an alpha? It's hard, bro. See, because <sighs> I don't know. I I I, I was going to say, well, this is actually kind of a good example, but it also kind of kind of contradicts what I said about the cockiness, but Conor McGregor is a fucking definition of an alpha. No questions. I mean, he's a cage fighter, right? He talks a lot of shit, but he backs it up by kicking people's asses. Usually. His day is kind of coming to an end now, but, you know, so, so I would consider him an alpha. He's the kind of person, and he might have even said this, I don't know, but he's the kind of person where if I saw him on a video or a podcast calling himself an alpha, I'd be like, oh, ah, I, ah, I guess I'll let it slide. Yeah, but hey, don't do it again, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> but I, I would consider him one for sure. I, you know, he just, he's a badass. And that's what it is, bro. Um, but so the results for that one, people that call themselves alpha, beta was 80% and alpha was 20%. So you fucking 20 percenters need to chill, bro. You're on the spectrum or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. And then the last one we got for now is do you talk to yourself? Nope, I do not talk to myself once a week for an hour plus. Definitely not. <sighs> hey, bro, I be talking to myself left and right, man. It's crazy. I don't even know what it is. A lot of the time, I have like com- like full-on conversations with myself. Not the podcast, just like generally. It's so weird. Like, I will say something or I'll ask a question and then my other personality will be like, nah, bro, don't do that. No, no, no. That's, that's terrible. For, 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 for. Or, you know, I'll be driving, right? And then 
you know, I'll just, I'll, I'll be on the freeway, you know, and I'll see like, I'll, I'll be on my, my, no, I can't say that. I'll, I'll be in my car, right? And uh, I just, I just see like this, this, uh, this person that cut me off and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go around to the side of them and I'm just going to ram the side of my car into the side of their car. And then my other, prior, my other personality is like, nah, bro, hey, listen, you do that, there's no going back. You lose everything. And then I'm, and I say back to myself, I'm like, God damn it, you're, I hate when you're right, bro. I just hate when you're right. So I have conversations like that in my head. Um, or when I'm in the shower, you know, I'll be in the shower. And if I'm not singing in the shower, I'm like, all right, do we want to beat off in here so that we don't have to clean up anything later? Or, or should we just wait until we get into bed? Cause it's a little more comfortable and we don't have to use our imagination. Right. All right. And then, and then I'll be in there. I'll be like, well, you know, we could do it right now. Um, but then I'll be in here a little too long and my roommates are going to be like, why the fuck is he in the shower for so long? What's going on in there? You know? And then, and then, but if I wait until I get into bed later, right. Uh, you know, I could really take my time. I'll be under the blankets, you know, it, it'll be comfortable and, you know, I'll, I could, I could watch whatever video I want to watch or whatever. So that's the conversation that I have in my head all the fucking time. And then sometimes I like fantasize shit like, 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 oh, dude, hey, I'll be driving and I'll be like, damn, bro. I remember when I was in eighth grade, I got into a fist fight. Let me relive that fight really quick, but I'll have it go my way. Right. So I'm like that motherfucker do the first punch. Fuck, man. If I would have saw that shit coming, I would have fucking ducked, you know, laid one on his fucking cheek and then rammed another fist in his chest and then fucking I would have thrown my skateboard at him, you know. So I relive shit like that all the time. Bro, I'd be living in the past like crazy and i talk talk to myself about it. I'd be like, what, what, what different scenario would I have done right there, you know, to make my life not even better but just, you know, just to change shit up, right? <laughs> I always think about little things that would have sent my life in a completely different direction. Oh my God. Fuck. Like, what's something that I did back in the day that I wish I could undo or do differently? I don't know, man. I punched a senior citizen once. <laughs> uh, yeah. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I'm here now. I didn't go to jail or anything. I didn't make any bad decisions after that, so... It is what it is. If you want that full story, you're going to have to go listen to the episode in Napa with uh, Dylan, Peter, uh, Derek, and Ronnie. That whole story is on that episode of me punching a senior citizen. That was some crazy shit, bro. For real, for real. For real, for real. But hey, guys, I'm uh, I'm done. I'm checking out. Um, like I said, I haven't decided yet about next week's episode. There might be one. There might not be. But uh, we'll figure out together. If you If you see an episode, cool. If you don't, you know why. All up in them cheeks, Joey is signing out. Later.